MK and I am here with another mixed media mayhem recipe for you guys today. I am also combining this with the prompt for today from Scrap Timber as well as Scrap Lifting Shannon Keith because I fell in love with this layout. So from uh, Coco Vanilla's No Limits, I have these tiny word stickers that I'm going to be trying to use. I also have this washi tape, which I apologize, I do not remember where it is from. And then this label, which again, I don't know where it's from. It almost looks like Coco Vanilla, but I don't know. I have several stars here. Some of them are not just for boys, others are from Coco Vanilla. And then this glitter paper is from Close to My Heart back in the day. So I've got this um, one I'm going to use to map my photos. And then I have some just not, just not, uh, not just for boys, <laughs> little uh, charms going on. And then from Stampin' Up's Paper Pumpkin from years back, I have these extra labels that have gold on the outside. And then also from Stampin' Up, I have this gorgeous, oh my gosh, isn't that awesome? This um, gorgeous, I don't know, star paper, out, outside paper. Yes, Outworld paper. Um, no, space paper. Oh my god. And then um, from Photoplay, I have To the Moon. I just plan on using this one little sticker right here. So it's going to be very monochromatic or two-toned. I also have this scrap that I punched out or I die cut out a ton of stars. And the stars that I used not only had the stitching on the inside, but it had the stitching on the outside. So I couldn't get rid of this paper. It's several years old, so I'm glad to finally use it up. I have Stickles Gel Medium in Nebula, a transparent gloss paste from Ranger, and then I'm going to use the Chip Sapphire Distress Ink with my blender brush. <clears throat> from Dusty Attic, I have two chipboard pieces. One is these really cool industrial stars, and then the other one is called Barcode. And then I made my title using this thicker set, Little Wanders. And what I really liked about it is it's got the gold sparkle and then it's on a dark blue or a navy foam. So I've got my title already set up and then I took off a bunch of asterisks. Well, the only asterisks. From the Crafters Workshop, I have this star stencil um, and it is TCW479 if you guys want to go look that up. Um, I would have used Sandy's... Um, uh, all-star stencil, but I felt like it was too many stencils. I wanted them a little bit more spaced out. All right. I also have, I think, nine photos. I don't remember. I think nine though. So I've got those and then I'm just going to figure out where I want them placed. I only have one photo that is um, printed. It's not really four by six. It's more like a four by five or a three and yeah, I think it's four by five by the time I'm done cutting it down. Um, and then the rest of them are three by four, but they're gonna they're gonna get cut down too to where my final <clears throat> layout or my final photo mat matting because I'm gonna mat them twice is going to be three by fours. So once I figure out where all my photos are gonna go and how I like my placement, um, is when I will start the background design. Now I'm trying to stick true to how Shannon has her photos in her layout. Um, so I wanted more photos or most of the photos all on the right hand side with leaving a lot of blank space over on the left side. I'm trying. <laughs> I don't succeed very much, but um, it, it it's okay. It does work a little bit. I do have a little bit of white space, but I also had a lot more photos. Um, I, I opted to make most of my photos into three by fours instead of four by sixes or four by fours. And so, yes, I definitely wanted to um, get more photos down. Um, now, this is not just one day at the bar. This is over several days. And truth be told, none of these photos are mine. <laughs> I did not take a single picture um, of us at this bar, except for when we were at the, um, uh, what or when we spent the day up there watching us go through Tracy Fjord. So I, um, honestly had to steal every single one of these pictures from either Janet or her husband. So thank you. I would not have been able to do it without you, Janet or Jim. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is put on my stars using my clear texture paste. I'm going to wait until they have gone and dried. Um, I'm going to drop my ink pad. Thank goodness it hit right in where the photos go. Um, some of it is a little off. And then of course I stuck my thumb in it. So I have a thumbprint. I mean, it's just a hot mess, but it's mixed media. So I'm going to keep going. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, ink up my area. I don't want, like I said, on this side especially, I don't want too much of the ink um, to go over because I really loved all that white space on the left side of Shannon's page. So I'm going to try my hardest to stick with that, but I want the blue to not be so harsh. So I'm going to try to fade it out into the um, into the white and then I'm going to take a paper towel and wipe off my stars so that way they come back as white and there they are I love this oh my god I'm so happy <laughs> I'm going to do the exact same thing on the right side except the right side is going to be more full um, of the blue touch more of edge to edge type of thing I do want to make sure that um the rubbings from the left side to the right side actually match and meet up in the middle and it doesn't look like I um, did the inking with you know two pages which I did but I don't want it to look like that so I'll bring the pages back together once I am done here um, and make sure that the inking uh, looks cohesive like it does match one side to the other. Oh, I had to take a big drink. I'm sorry. So now that I have all of my inking all done, I do apologize, you guys. Water tastes so good first thing in the morning. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up inking all the way around, make sure that I cover up every single star, go back through and rub all my stars off. Just with a plain paper towel, you guys, no magic whatsoever. And then here's where I bring back my papers to make sure that the ink matches in the middle and looks cohesive. Now, once the photos are brought back in, it's not going to look as funny as it does now. But one of the things that I wanted to put all the way around where my photos meet is this um, Nebula paste by stickers, uh, Stickles Glitter Gel, or it's a glitter gel in Nebula, I should say, in the Nebula color, which is a clear gel, and then it's got all these really cool gold stars. Now, I picked mine up from close to my heart, um, but you can get them. I think that they're sold in scrapbook.com or um, a cherry on top. Uh, I will have a link down below if you guys are interested. Um, also, too, I, I'm not sure if I mentioned this in um, a lot of my videos. I just don't want to keep sounding like a broken record. But any of the links that are down below, I receive a small commission for. Um, they are affiliate links. And so they um, anytime that you order from those, I get a very small very small commission off of them. It just helps um, me with uh, creating more videos and contents for you guys. So thank you very much for those of you that have clicked on those links and helped me out and, uh, and placed orders. I appreciate that. Um, yes, I do. So anyways, just thought I'd get that out there because I am supposed to say that in every video. <laughs> But I am going to go through. Now, one of the cool things, too, is that because I use Distress Ink, and this is a wet medium, I'm activating the ink underneath. And so it is darkening it, lightening it. It's doing all its fun things that it is supposed to do. And I absolutely love how that looks. Putting my layouts together so that way I can make sure that the Nebula paste actually makes it look cohesive from side to side. And then I went through and I trimmed down all of my photos. I trimmed down all of my um, all of my photo mats. I'm going to use the blue star paper for, or I should say the blue space paper um, for my first mat and then the gold for the second mat. And then um, I realized that I needed a stronger adhesive for the glitter. It's been a while since I've used glitter. So I'm just gonna put a piece of tape um, or tear and tape right in the center 
and uh, it stuck just fine. Went off camera and cut out all of my little stitched stars. I also inked the um, barcodes in the, um, and actually I used chip sapphire in the oxide rather than the distress ink. And then I spray painted or I, I didn't spray the paint on. I dabbed the paint on, and I believe I used Dina Wakely in Gilt, which is her gold, for my chipboard stars. So that is where they all got colored. Uh, and then I decided <clears throat> to go ahead and put all of my papers. Now, this layout did have to dry overnight. One of the things about the Stickles um, glitter gel is it does. it's not a big fan of a heat gun um, and so you do kind of have to lay it off to the side and forget about it for a while it doesn't take overnight um, that's just when my time frame worked for me uh, so I definitely um, did not need to wait until then um, in fact by the time that I uh, probably was done with another layout um, it was getting ready to be dried but then I ran out of crafty time if that makes sense like I had to I had to stop for the day so um, the first thing I'm going to do is divide and conquer at first I thought well I could lay everything down as I wanted but then I realized no I if I don't do my divide and conquer thing um, I, I feel like I missed something I just feel like something could have been better if this was over here or that was there and things like that. So I, I like to take all of my supplies and, um, you know, divide them up into the area or areas that um, I had planned for my layout. So if I've got three to five spaces on my layout where I knew I wanted something, I would, I would divide all of my supplies within those spaces, right? Um, here I've only got the two because that's where Shannon had her layout um, divided and so or decorated and so that is what I'm doing. Taking a scrap of my glitter paper and covering up one of the stars within my barcode. I thought that was a cool little touch and now I'm going to go ahead and space out my um, my stars around my printed stars if that makes sense and i want to make sure that it's strategically placed to where i don't cover up the texture paste stars um, so that's one of the reasons why i didn't really cover up my um, my stitched stars is i really liked just the fact that they were outlines um, i think that they went and matched really well with the dusty attic stars so i just i really liked that so now I'm just going to go through and glue everything down um, now that I've got a placement where I liked it. So using liquid glue um, to help me glue everything down over on top of the pasture, uh, texture paste or the glitter gel paste, I should say. So, and then um, I'm also going to start bringing in the labels and whatnot. Um, I just knew that the stars were all in the background before I start uh, working on, um, well, the foreground, I guess. So got a little glue on my finger, just trying to erase it off of my star. And gluing and gluing. I guess I did not cut any of this part out. <laughs> So bringing in these um, Stampin' Up labels. And then I here's where I forgot my glue. Um, I was going to bring in my uh, washi tape. Sorry, I for words are hard this morning. <laughs> I was going to bring in my washi tape, completely forgot about it. So I thought, oh, I could just tuck them in. Well, that Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive Tape works really well, you guys. I could not lift up this... Um, chipboard piece to save my life. I just couldn't. But in the end, I actually do like how the washi tape is um, divided between the barcode. I put the washi tape on here. And then when I put the barcode down, I don't really realize it until I'm editing the video that I really like the white space between um, the barcodes. Uh, and so it, it, one side doesn't have the barcodes, the other side, or one side has the white space, the other side will not, which is fine. It, it all works out in the end. Um, like I said, I didn't even notice it until I was editing. And now that I see it, it's, 
one of those things that nah, it could have definitely been done. So, but most of these pictures are um, basically of the bar first thing in the morning. There's really nobody there. We don't, um, this is a nighttime bar. So it's just a lounge place in, um, in the morning, the afternoon, <clears throat> even all the way up past dinner time. And then um, way past my bedtime, it turns into a hopping, hopping scene. You guys, um, the DJ in this bar was fabulous. Uh, I've only, I met her twice, but she was absolutely fabulous. Um, and she really does run a, a pretty cool, <laughs> a pretty cool dance floor. Um, it's just way past my bedtime, uh, for me to be able to enjoy it. But I thought it was a pretty neat club. Um, all the decorations and whatnot within the club were pretty cool. Uh, and so we, like Janet was trying to take pictures of the stars. So there's one picture of her laying on the floor, trying to get the picture of the star. And I photobombed her and apparently she didn't take any pictures <laughs> of just the star on the ceiling. Um, all they, are, all they were, was me, uh, was me photobombing her. So that was great. And then, um, I didn't even realize she took the second picture of me with the star in the background. And, um, so I've got, uh, or Jim took a picture of her taking a picture again of her laying on the bench with me and the star in the background. I completely forgot that we had that. Um, Jim also took pictures of us, um, cause we brought our breakfast up and would eat up in the bar. Uh, so we had, we had those pictures and then, um, I don't know what I'm doing, but, uh, the last picture over there by the second barcode on the right, I'm laying down and apparently I took a picture and then that's Janet in the back or in the, you know, sitting up, but I don't have that picture. So I don't know exactly what was going on there. I, I have no idea. I'm going to go ahead and put my tiny word stickers on top of some washi tape. Um, I laid down my title of the Skywalker Bar, Astronomically Awesome is what it says. And then um, I love this one. It says, be yourself, no shame. Because <laughs> she's laying on the floor. Uh, and then the other ones were very spacey, uh, out of this world, the sky's the limit, things like that. Uh, very spacey. And then I went ahead and popped these charms off of their packaging. They were held on by glue dots. And oh my goodness, um, I had to trash the background to get them off, but that's okay. And then I used tear and tape on the back of them with a little bit of white um, twine. Uh, went ahead and found where I wanted to place all of those. <clears throat> and put them, uh, you know, glued them down. And then I went ahead and glued, took my asterisks from the title and scattered them around. And the last thing I'm going to do is scatter these stars that are also from Not Just For Boys. I wasn't sure which stars from my little container I was going to use. Um, I, I think my little container is a close to my heart container. I, I don't remember um, if I'm being honest, but I... I wanted, I had all these little stars in little baggies and I didn't like that. I, I felt like that's the reason why I wasn't using them. <clears throat> and so I decided to put all the little stars in that um, little container and yeah, it worked out much better. All right. Last thing I'm going to do is take some of this uh, distress ink in, um, I think this one is prized ribbon to be honest. Uh, it might be chip sapphire, sapphire, but part of me wants to say it's prized ribbon and um, just splatter it all around to give me another depth and dimension on this layout. And that is my layout for today, you guys. I had so much fun creating this layout. It, I mean, I was smiling the whole time. It was so fun. Uh, I definitely like when the, the splatter hits the cardstock and then hits the gel medium and it becomes two different colors, almost like I use two different colors on the layout. Um, so there is the left side. Here are close-ups of the right side. You can see the pictures a little bit better too of um, us being us. <laughs> yes. So anyways, that is what I have for you guys today. 
Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really, truly appreciate it. Um, I have several playlists for you guys down, not several, I have two playlists for you guys. One is for the Mixed Media Mayhem Gals, um, which our recipe for today was um, stars, ink, and a stencil. So I think I got that. I think I did the inking, the starring, and the stenciling with a star stencil. <laughs> Uh, stars are my favorite, you guys. I could I could create star layouts forever. I, I absolutely love star layouts. Um, so anyways, don't forget to check out um, that link for the playlist to see who all else is playing along with our recipe. And then I have the Scrap Timber playlist um, down below. And then I'm going to have another playlist from when Shannon created this layout. She did a 31 days of... Um, creating an album in 31 days and so she has that in a playlist as well that I will go ahead and um, put that link down there so you can watch her create this layout all right you guys again thank you so much and I'll check y'all later bye <laughs>